All right guys, so I wanted to do a quick video on the gimbal that I got. Now this is not my first one. Uh, this is probably like my sixth one. Um, I've never talked about gimbals here because each one that I've had, like there was something wrong with it. No, I don't wanna say wrong with it, but it works better if the weight of the camera matches at least 80% of the max hold. So what I mean by that is like, um, I've had like the Weeble S twice, <laughs> had the DJI Ronin once, uh, I had the Feutech G6 Max, I think it's Zion Crane B2, but most of those with the exception of the G6 Max, the payload was really high, like seven pounds or up on most of those. The max payload on this one is like almost five pounds, four point something. So if I'm wrong, I'll put it up on the screen. I did the weight on the cage, the M50 plus the 16 millimeter lens. It's at about almost two pounds. So about half of almost half of what this max payload is. Every time I would like, um, like the panning and the tilting was fine. But when I did this move here, um, I would try to come up like this this angle here would just crash it, it did it on the weeble s it did it on the on the ronin sc and those would probably be considered like the best uh, middleweight gimbals for sure but surprisingly i was able to hit these angles like it, it it took care of it like a boss like any angle that i hit no matter where i was uh turning it it, it didn't collapse it just did fine but my complaint at first was that um, when I would uh, pan, sometimes even on smooth, it was um, it was kind of jerky. And then I went into custom settings and I tried to lower the dead band um, as much as I could, or I think I increased it so that it wouldn't jerk so much. I would have to kind of really turn into it. And then one day out of nowhere, like the day I was like, man, you know, I'm just gonna put up with it. Theotic dropped a firmware update, and I think it was like 2.006, dude. It changed. It like it's almost like a new gimbal. It's finally the way it should be. Now it's so freaking smooth. Like I, I almost have to change it. I, I think it's a little bit too smooth to be honest. I think they listened to people's complaints and they updated it. It's perfect. Like it, they glides like butter. So anyway, I wanted to show you some footage of how this looks. Um, I didn't, I don't think I have any footage before the update, but I could tell you for sure that I could see why people were complaining and sometimes returning it. I considered it but because it could hit this angle i thought man this is the only one i've had that can do that so i better just stick out with it so i'm gonna shut up now i'm gonna show you some footage of me just walking up and down the uh, uh my hallway here and then i'm gonna do that movement i told you about where i come up and come down and uh i'll just do a bunch of random ones just so you can see and then i'll switch between the modes and i'll, I'll list it up on the screen whenever I'm in action, smooth, or um, the default one, I don't think you're ever gonna really use unless you just want something right in the middle. So for me, it's either gonna be action or smooth. So I'm gonna switch over the lens to the M50 now and show you what it looks like. All right, this first mode, um, I'm just in smooth mode and I'm in um, pan, tilt, follow. And this one just, I'm not gonna do anything fancy. This is just kind of more to pay attention to how smooth it is going left and right, maybe up and down. Now, if you see wobble on this one, that's just me. I'm not the greatest uh, gimbal operator, and that has to do with the way you walk. So um, let's just start going this way, and then we'll pan to the right. I see, it's just freaking smooth. Like, it's like, I, it's not going off of how jerky I make it, you know? So we'll turn around right here. And like, so this one, it's not gonna work if you need to make sudden movements. Cause if you saw there, no matter how quick I try to turn right, it's smooth. So it's only gonna turn, um, I guess as much as you change the dead band. Cause technically you could just change the dead band. But I like, I like this one. This one's good for, um, if you're doing weddings, or you just wanna do something like real cinematic. back around one more time okay so that's smooth mode um, you could mess with the settings if you want like change the dead band and stuff but I like to just pick the modes that are already in there and this is after the update so this is smooth mode after the update this is pan tilt follow that's the G oh, I'm sorry G6 that's the uh, M6 that I just recorded on and 
that's about it. So let's try to, I didn't do the, I didn't do the tilt. So check out the tilt looks coming up. And then going back down. And this is over here in the bush. So coming up. This is 24p by the way. I'm not doing, I'm not gonna slow this down because I think that's kind of dumb when you show uh, gimbal footage slowed down. It's like, I mean, handheld footage slowed down looks good. So this is how it looks real time. All right, I'm gonna switch to the other mode now. All right, this is action mode and this is like the, I don't know what it's called. I think it's all around. So it's pan, tilt and roll. This is my favorite one. And this is the one where I'm about to hit those angles. Um, this is the one you can probably get really creative with, just like run and gun and basically get anything. This is going to be the least cinematic though because it's not slow, so I'll, I'll show you what I mean. So here we go, coming off the edge. This kind of looks like drone footage, I guess you could say. So here's the corner, boom, like that right there I could never do on the Weeble S or the, uh, the Ronin SC. Like it would always collapse right there. So I, yeah, this is kind of like... Um, Kind of like if you were flying a drone, and you were doing all those cool uh, like drones and flips. And to be honest, I'm not going to do too much of the rolls because I think I did that before. And when I look back at the footage, I got a little sick. But just to show you like how responsive it is, this is the angle again that I'm talking about. And it's just like, like a champ. It's like not budging. Oh, my lapel might get caught. So this is great, like let's say you're following a kid around, trying to get some footage of him, and then I don't know, he runs off and trying to get another one. Or maybe, uh, hang on, let's see, let's see myself in there. So yeah, like you see that, ah, you can't see it because uh, I'll probably use my cell phone. That at an angle, you just turn like that, you can see it ever so slightly. It's like not moving, it's like not collapsing. So let's come back this way. But I like when like Brandon Lee does those videos where he comes out revealing like that and then he'll like turn this way and come back the other side. I don't know, maybe it's just me that saw it. Um, but yeah, this is action mode. Like, this is like crazy fast. Like it's like nothing's gonna get past me. Like it, it, if you turn left, I'm going left. <laughs> if you turn right, I'm going right. <laughs> All right, so. I think that's about it. I got a few things more that I want to add about the gimbal itself that I think is important to know. But as far as the footage goes, there you have it. This is action um, with the all-around mode. And then the first one you saw was smooth with uh, panto follow. All right, so I think the last clip where the I was doing the action mode, got, my lapel mic got disconnected. But oh well, I'll just try to enhance the audio. So in case the audio isn't leveled. Um, so that's that with how this looks. Now, two things I want to add is first one is that um, I think the one thing that people talk about, the quality is really good, like it's built really well. And I would agree with that for the most part. The only complaint I had, and hopefully it's just me, but there is a little bit of quality control issue here. Like this little plastic part, it's separate from the housing on the other end and it's right where the trigger is but whenever I go to push the trigger I hear like a click and, it, and again this is like nitpicking so but a little bit of the housing and uh, it's not gonna show because I have it on the uh, th this part right here a little bit of that housing isn't flush when I push it in it clicks but then the other side pops out so it, it, I mean it's it doesn't bug me it kind of makes me think this wasn't brand new because also when I opened it, there was like a hair stuck on here <laughs> and like some of the stuff wasn't wrapped in plastic, but oh well. Oh, I, I got this because it was a lightning deal on Amazon. It was like 50 bucks off, so I got it for $2.99. Um, it's normally $3.50. Um, so that's just that. It's just there's a little bit of like quality control, but am I going to return it over something like that? No. Am I going to return it and pay regular price for it and lose my lightning deal? Hell no. <laughs> So I'm just gonna tough it out. But other than that, I like the wooden grips. Everything about it is like premium. Like I showed this to my sister and she was like amazed. This looks like a really good gimbal. My only other complaint about it is that um, 
well, I wouldn't say complain, it's, it's also just a nitpick, but the battery life kind of sucks. Or at least I'm going off of what the gauge says, the little battery icon. Um, it's, it's rated at 7 hours, which is low. If you've uh, had experience with other gimbals, most of them last about 10 at the very least. Most of the time 12, like 10 to 12. 7 is very low, but it does have fast charging, so I think I can forgive that. Um, but that's about, that's about it. If you have any questions about it, just let me know in the comment section. I'll do my best to um, answer because I don't know if you know, but I'm almost YouTube famous. I have way over 10,000 view uh, minutes viewed. It's just that I'm under a thousand subscribers, so I can't get monetized yet. But I have this video that just blew up out of nowhere, and it was about my hair. You know, it was about um, it was about my hairline, like how I got it back. Jesus Christ! I I get at least I'm not even joking. I get at least three comments a day asking the same thing it's like dude just read the comments i've answered the questions like the first month it came out and then people just keep asking the same thing but anyway that the video's got like over eleven thousand views now alone and i'm just like golly like i don't want to make this channel about hair but i mean it's i guess i could do a few but i want to i like camera stuff and i want to keep it around vlogs and camera stuff so i don't know man um i also have a few other videos about the sigma lenses that had um, a lot of views. So I had the the 30 mil one. That one did well. That one had over 10,000. And the um, the Sigma, the I made two, but the original one had a good amount, like a good healthy 6,000. So I'm thinking maybe I could make more content about these EFM lenses, considering that I have an M50. Um, I have the M6 now. But I'll be honest, and this is the announcement I wanted to make. I might be switching. Now I'm sorry, I know I said I was going to stick with Canon, especially their M-Line series because I like the freaking size, especially with this cage, man, it feels so freaking good, but I can't help it, like Panasonic has been calling my name for so long, and the only reason I haven't gone to them yet is because of the autofocus, but I've been using manual focus more and more, and I'm more comfortable with it now than ever, so... I might be selling this M6 and I might be getting a Panasonic G85. I don't know, I gotta do more research and if the price is right. I'm still gonna keep the M50 though. This was my first camera. This one's like my baby. I'm gonna keep this until it dies. But the M6, sorry it didn't last. So I'll keep you guys updated. Again, if you have any questions about the gimbal though, just let me know. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, that would be great. Cause I would love to make $10 a month making these stupid movies, I mean stupid films just to keep you guys entertained so thank you guys so much for watching we'll see you next time